midnight and city lights on the other side you calling me up at the same time i'm in the daylight you calling to say hi but your words they cry if there's something that you need to say i know it ain't easy living inside your brain for sure good morning good morning my people uh today is a saturday morning right now is uh 9 21 in the morning it's on a saturday it's a breast saturday it looks so beautiful outside it's quiet i decided to come back because i have been reading um your comments your views and uh i just come across so many questions uh, some of them um went to my dm and uh, ask you questions and that's why i'm here um i want to answer one of the lady who asked me about the age if it's okay for somebody who is around 45 50 she was uh worried if it's the best time to come and uh, I'm here to answer. A lot of people also ask me about which is the best age. Another one said um, she has some big kids, like 15, 11. And uh, I want to answer those two questions. But there are so many questions still I'll come and answer. So don't worry. I'll be tackling them each and every day. Uh, today, uh, I just feel honored. I feel okay. So, uh, before just going round and out, let me go straight to the point. Yes, when you are 45 years, <laughs> you read who asked me that question. As you can see me here, I'm above 45, <laughs> going 50. Uh, this is the best time for you to come you are still strong you are still be able to work at least you are single but you have one kid who is already grown up he is 23 so you cannot even follow with that kid because it's you can't follow for a person who is above 21 but according to you the boy has already um applied by himself and you also applied by yourself well and good because if you want a green card because you you told you said you find by yourself if you did like that it's okay because if you win you come over here after five years you become a, a citizen and you can file for your son and your son can be able to come um another thing so that, that's not a big deal you are just worried about your age when you come here <laughs> you'll be able to work and uh, work and work there's many states that i said when you go to those states your age uh the work that you can be able to get that will be easy and good is um there's this state i have been um you know searching about it how they work and uh, they are really nice i pray to god that if you win a green card uh, there's this kind, this state you you need to consider. I know you can get a good jobs over there where you cannot be driving so far away, and you can really enjoy it. So there is this state again. I mention it again on another video. So please kindly, if you have not watched my previous videos, you can be able to watch because I give reference. For the state that where either you are single or you are you are new here in America, they are good state where you can start you know start life. This state don't carry me long. They are not bad state, it, but you know I prefer them because they are not fast. You know it's not expensive life. You can afford a house very comfortably. Jobs are so many there, like sitting jobs, there are so many. And you don't have to drive very far away. Um, that's why I refer those states. I'm going to repeat again. Those states are like Oklahoma, uh, Missouri, 
Missouri is the best. Uh, there is another this state called um, Iowa. That one is the best again. But that one, if you decide to go to Iowa, remember, Iowa is kind of a very, very cold state. It's very cold. Very cold. It snows a lot. So somebody like you coming from Africa, uh, it might be a little bit um, challenging, a little bit because of it's, it's become very cold. But remember, you are not going. You are not, not going by foot. You are. You have a car from the house to your job, from job to the car. But if you don't like cold, that's not a good place to go. But the life there is better. It, it's not very high. And jobs are there. There are so many. Another state which is best, best, best. That state uh, is called Seattle. Seattle. What, uh, let me call it in, in, in African uh, English. is Seattle. Seattle. Seattle is another good state. Most, most, most of Kenyans, they are there. It's very nice. It's very, very nice state. Considering, you know, that kind of age, 45, 30s, uh, 40s, 50s, uh, they, you know, that's a good state to work because you do a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. You do a lot of sitting jobs. You read, like you just take the elderly in, in one house, like five of them or two, three of them in one house. You get from this house, you go to, to another house. They have so many jobs like those one in Seattle. So Seattle is just another one. Seattle is, doesn't go very, very cold, but it rains a lot. And even Missouri. Missouri is get cold, not a lot, but it's rain. Like, let's say it's like Kirogoya, they are near where it's keep on just raining, raining, raining. Um, another good state to go is which one? I said Seattle, Missouri, Iowa, Kansas, Oklahoma. Those states, I keep on telling you guys, if you consider to come at that age, you lady who was asking me about it, at least probably I have been able to answer you. So about the children, when you come here with the children, there was one who was concerned about the children at that age, 15, 13, 11, that's the good age for them to be here. Because the one who is 15, you can leave him or her with the children and they can be able to, you know, to sleep at night. You can go to work, you can work night shift. When you come in the morning, you can drop them to school. And at night, you know, they sleep. As far as there is a, a child who is above 15, you can leave him or her with the other kid. So that, you know, when you go to work at night as a single mom, as a single dad, will be very, very, very much comfortable. Even if the neighbors call the police, uh, when they come and see there is an adult 15 and above, and they, you'll be fine. You'll not have any problem. The problem comes when the, the child is 15 and below, like um, let's say five to six years. Uh, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. You cannot leave those kids by themselves. If you leave those kids by themselves, uh, remember here, the neighbors are very keen. If you keep on going to work and they notice you leave children in the house by themselves, they automatically call the police. And when the police come, they monitor you, how you go, how you come. They cannot come just like that. They have to do investigation. And when they get their own evidence, then one day we will just come, go to work or, you know, coming to work. They, you will just meet them there with the police and the social worker. The social worker will come and get the children, go with them, and then you, you go to jail. That's how it goes, guys. So here with the kids, you have to be very careful. You have to make a very good decision of where to live, who to live with you, with which community you want to live. Those kind of places, you know, uh, questions and ideas you need to have 
a uh, hand in hand before you come in this country anyway i'm going to stop there if you have more questions please feel free keep on commenting i keep on reading those comments and taking note on that so um if i have not answered you correctly or how you wanted it to hear just comment below on this video and i'll make sure i'll just come and talk about it again and again that's why i'm here to answer you to enlighten you about all these things so for now kwaheri bye bye kwaheri means bye bye i'll see you at the next video thank you so much bye